Hello friends. In trick number 214 today, I am going to tell you how we can find the formula for diagonal of a cube or a cuboid. Now to remember these two formulas, we just need to know the basic concept of Pythagoras theorem. Now see, this is a cube and all sides are equal. So I have assumed the side of the cube as A. Now I will derive this formula for finding the diagonal of this cube. Now see if you draw a right angle triangle and consider the two sides, the base and the perpendicular as A which is equal to the side of this cube then if you find x the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle using Pythagoras theorem this will be a square plus a square equal to x square so x square will be equal to 2a square or x will be equal to root 2a now I have applied Pythagoras theorem and found out the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle whose base and perpendicular are equal to the side of the cube. Now what I do is I will repeat this Pythagoras theorem on another right angle triangle but this time I am going to take the base as this root to a and the perpendicular again as a and now you can find d that will be the diagonal of d cube. Now see d square will be equal to root 2 a whole square plus a square. So if you solve this d square will be equal to 2 a square plus a square that is 3 a square. So the diagonal of the cube will come out to be root 3 times a. This is the formula for finding the diagonal of a cube of side a. So diagonal of cube is root 3 times the side. Now let us repeat this procedure for a cuboid. Now see, I have drawn a right angle triangle again. Now this time, since we have all the three dimensions as different, so what I do is, I will take the first two dimensions that is length and breadth. Take the base as L and the perpendicular as B, now find X. Similar to this case, x square will be equal to l square plus b square. So x will be equal to under root l square plus b square. So just as we found x here, I have found x in the case of a cuboid also. Now draw the second right angle triangle and take the base as this. So now base is this under root l square plus b square. And now take the third dimension h as the perpendicular and now you will get the diagonal of the cuboid by applying Pythagoras theorem. Now see d square will be equal to under root l square plus b square whole square plus h square. So d square will be equal to l square plus b square plus h square which will now give us the expression for the diagonal. If I cancel this square here the entire thing will come in square root. This is the formula for finding the diagonal of a cuboid. A lot of problems are asked on the diagonal of the cube and cuboid in competitive exams. So I'll take one or two problems to understand how this formula can be applied to solve these kind of problems. <clears throat> now suppose we have a problem. We have to find the length of longest rod that can be placed in a cuboid of dimensions say 8 meter, 9 meter, 10 meter. Now I want to find the length of the longest rod. So finding the length of the longest rod, this is a very common question for all students of class 9th, 10th and all students preparing for competitive exams. 
so what we do is we just have to find the diagonal of the cuboid and if you apply the formula for diagonal of the cuboid that will give you the length of the longest rod so required solution will be obtained by just taking the square root and the square of the three dimensions that is 8 square plus 9 square plus 10 square this will give you 64 81 and 100 this is 5 4 to 245 which you reduce two factors this will be 7 7 is a 49 5 is a 245 so your answer is 7 to 5 meters this is the diagonal of the cuboid and this is the length of the longest rod that can be placed in a cuboid of these dimensions similarly you have a question on a cube also suppose you need to find the side of a cube find the side of a cube whose diagonal is root 75 centimeter now see the diagonal length of the diagonal is given here and we need to find the side so if, the, if we assume the side as a length of the diagonal is root 3a and this is given now the length of the diagonal is root 75 so we equate this with root 75 so if you solve this root 75 and root 3 this is root 75 by 3 which is root 25 so the side of the cube will come out to be 5 centimeters so you see these kind of problems take only 3 to 4 seconds to solve if you know the concept of the diagonal of a cube and diagonal of a cuboid these are the very two important uh, very important formulas for competitive exams and uh, these have to be remembered and if they are forgotten in exams you can derive them very easily using Pythagoras theorem so keep learning keep sharing the videos and subscribe the channel if you like it